toj slici žene domaćice. It starts also in the 1950s America, počelo je u Americi 50. godina, which was the time of Joseph McCarthy's anti-communism, koje je bilo vreme antikomunizma Josefa McCarthy-a, in which the word deviant, u kojoj je reč devijanta, was the most powerful political condemnation. Bilo najmoćnije političko oriđe osuđivanje. And those of us, I, I started making love with a woman when I was 11 years old. Those of us who called ourselves freaks because that was the word we used and queer in its our original sense i reč queer koja je bila onako u originalnom, ne pozitivnom značinju. Where many of us became deviant not only in our bodies, mnogi smo postali devijatni ne samo u našim telima, but in our politics, nego u našim politikama. So from the beginning the state, od početka je država, was was our the state was who we had to take on to have a deviant body and we met the state in the bars and then we met the and our bars were controlled <coughs> by uh, corrupt police, something called vice squads, which were extensions of the state, controlling deviants. And yet we were young and we were wanting we wanted the touch. For me it was the touch of women I saw as butch. That was the word we had. And I still look back at that 18 year old young woman and wonder how far desire can take us against the forces of the state. I further on, and this is what Lipa had Lepa had asked me to talk about. The three liberation movements in my life. That made all my work possible. The civil rights movement. So that comes in at the end of the 60s, so the McCarthy period in the 50s, the anti-war movements, but the... So the civil rights movement of a dispossessed people African American, African American, who had been brought, brought to our country as an enslaved, with no wealth, no social standing, took on 200 years of national hatred. Once again with their bodies. In the streets. In front of voting places. 
ispred mesta, glasičkih mesta. In front of schools. Ispred škola. On national highways. Na autoputevima. And they showed that a people, as you, as you know, a people in the streets, can expand the cracks in the state. So the civil rights movement gave my deviant body a home. And then the next was the women's liberation movement, which I entered as a queer woman, as a femme woman. And we always didn't see eye to eye. But I knew how to be a deviant. I still had to learn what it meant to be a woman as an equal civil citizen. And the next movement was gay liberation. Where so the deviant, the woman, and the queer all took on the state together. It was the women I met along these paths that led me to become one of the founders of the Lesbian History Archive. I travel with Lepe's voice. I travel with other voices as well. And so this is a voice of a butch lesbian from the 1950s. Things back then were terrible. And I think that because I fought like a man to survive, I made it somehow easier for the kids coming out today I did all their fighting for them. I'm not a rich person. I don't have a lot of money. I don't even have a little money. I would have nothing to leave nobody in this world. But I have that that I can leave to the kids who are coming out now, who will come out in the future, that I left them a better place to come out into. And that's all I have to offer to leave them. But I wouldn't deny it. Even though I was getting my brains beaten up, I would never stand up and say, no, don't hit me. I'm not gay, I'm not gay. I wouldn't do that. 